Sleep deprivation. What is sleep deprivation? Sleep deprivation means you're not getting enough sleep. For most adults, the amount of sleep needed for best health is 7 to 8 hours each night. When you get less sleep than that, as many people do, it can eventually lead to many health problems. These can include forgetfulness, being less able to fight off infections, and even mood swings and depression. What causes sleep deprivation? Sleep deprivation is not a specific disease. It is usually the result of other illnesses or from life circumstances. Sleep deprivation is becoming more common. Many people try to adjust their schedule to get as much done as possible, and sleep is sacrificed. Sleep deprivation also becomes a greater problem as people grow older. Older adults probably need as much sleep as younger adults, but they typically sleep more lightly. They also sleep for shorter time spans than younger people. Half of all people older than 65 have frequent sleeping problems. Sleep deprivation can occur for a number of reasons. Sleep disorder. These include insomnia, sleep apnea, narcolepsy, and restless legs syndrome. Aging. People older than 65 have trouble sleeping because of aging, medicine they're taking, or health problems they're having. Illness. Sleep deprivation is common with depression, schizophrenia, chronic pain syndrome, cancer, stroke, and Alzheimer's disease. Other factors. Many people have occasional sleep deprivation for other reasons. These include stress, a change in schedule, or a new baby disrupting their sleep schedule. What are the symptoms of sleep deprivation? At first, sleep deprivation may cause minor symptoms. But over time, these symptoms can become more serious. Early sleep deprivation symptoms may include drowsiness, inability to concentrate, memory problems, lay physical strength, less ability to fight off infections. Sleep deprivation problems over time may include increased risk for depression and mental illness, increased risk for stroke and asthma attack. Increased risk for potentially life-threatening problems. These include car accidents, and untreated sleep disorders such as insomnia, sleep apnea, and narcolepsy. Hallucinations. Severe mood swings. How is sleep deprivation diagnosed? Sleep specialists say that one of the telltale signs of sleep deprivation is feeling drowsy during the day. In fact, even if a task is boring, you should be able to stay alert during it if you are not sleep deprived. If you often fall asleep within 5 minutes of lying down, then you likely have severe sleep deprivation. People with sleep deprivation also have micro sleeps. These are brief periods of sleep during waking time. In many cases, sleep deprived people may not even be aware that they are having these micro sleeps. If you have any of these warning signs listed above, See your doctor or ask for a referral to a sleep specialist. Your doctor will ask you detailed questions to get a better sense of the nature of your sleeping problems. In some cases, if your doctor thinks you have a more serious and possibly life-threatening sleep disorder such sleep apnea, then the sleep specialist may do a test called a sleep study, polysomnography. This test actually monitors your breathing, heart rate and other vital signs during an entire night of sleep. It gives the sleep specialist useful information to help diagnose and treat your underlying disorder. How is sleep deprivation treated? Treatments for sleep deprivation vary based on how severe it is. In some cases, your doctor may want you to try self-care methods before turning to medicine. Your doctor may prescribe sleeping pills. But keep in mind that they tend to work less well after a few weeks. They can actually disrupt your sleep. For more serious insomnia, your doctor may have you try light therapy. It can help your body's internal clock readjust and allow you to sleep more restfully. 
If you are diagnosed with sleep apnea, your doctor may prescribe a special breathing machine to use while you sleep. It's called CPAP, Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. This machine gives you a continuous flow of air through a mask. This help keep your airway open. Can sleep deprivation be prevented? If your sleep deprivation is mild, these simple strategies may help you to get a better night's sleep. Exercise at least 20 to 30 minutes each day, at least 5 to 6 hours before going to bed. This will make you more likely to fall asleep later in the day. Don't use substances that contain caffeine, nicotine, or alcohol. Any of these can disrupt your regular sleep patterns. Quitting smoking is always a good idea. How to manage sleep deprivation Creating a relaxing bedtime routine often helps conquer sleep deprivation and give you a good night's sleep. This can include taking a warm bath, reading, or meditating. Let your mind drift peacefully to sleep. But don't eat a large meal just before bed. It can make it hard to sleep. Another step that may help you to get a good night's sleep is sticking to a consistent schedule. This means to you go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. If possible, waking up with the sun is a good way to reset your body's clock more naturally. Also keep your bedroom at a reasonable temperature. A bedroom that is too hot or too cold can disrupt sleep. If you're having trouble sleeping, try doing something else like reading a book for a few minutes. The anxiety of not being able to fall asleep can actually make sleep deprivation worse for some people. Finally, see a doctor if your problems with sleep deprivation continue. Don't let sleep problems linger. Key points about sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation is not a specific disease. It is usually the result of other illnesses or life circumstances. Sleep deprivation can become a greater problem as people grow older. One of the telltale signs of sleep deprivation is feeling drowsy during the day. Treatments for sleep deprivation vary based on how severe it is. Creating a relaxing bedtime routine often helps to conquer sleep deprivation and get a good night's sleep. The anxiety of not being able to fall asleep can actually make sleep deprivation worse for some people. enjoyed this video. I will have more power to publish the next videos if you subscribe this channel and enable all notifications to make sure you never miss any videos in the future. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next videos.